today, did you? Oh, from, uh, no, I live in the UK. Oh, uh, right, yes. So, yeah, I yeah. live just outside London. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So it's nice and local. So we'll talk about straight away. So, could, uh, what is your name? Tell us so, your name. How, how you pronounce your here name? Here is Agnesa. Agnesa. So it's written A N J E Z A. Right. And then it's Agnesa. And you, of course, she are. In, from Albania. I was in Albania in um, 2004. First representative. You are, the, you are the first lady. Yes. Of Albania. Yes. Wow. That's what you feel really good. Yeah. You it should feels, do. It feels always good. It's like, yeah, part of the history now. So of course. It's cool. yeah. And what a great song it was too. Uh, the the song, image of the you. The image of you, yeah. I was watching some of the the um, the national final songs when you were singing in, in, the, in your native language. And the original version was quite different yes. to what, what, what came out, wasn't yes, it? Yes, true. Well, because when we did the song, we didn't thought about your vision at all at the moment and you, because I think we all weren't prepared for a Eurovision Song Contest, maybe it was first year, no one actually was ready for that yet and uh, we just, I remember we recorded the song hoping that the song would do very well for the festival, mm -hmm. I was, it was my first competition beside the big names um, in, in Albania and so that was the most important part for me. Of course. Sing so you, I guess you saw it as like a stepping stone initially, before you know, again, no, it's going into the contest. So you, you saw it as being a stepping stone for your career, perhaps yeah, initially? Yeah, so I just had, I just won pop, uh, like a pop idol version mm, of course. Albania, I yeah. just won that. And I did another competition with the young uh, singers, I got the second place in there. And then I thought, I felt like it was the right time for me to do the next step. and, and participate in this uh, it's all this competition and uh, very important uh, competition for music in Albania and it was it was the right time to, to start my career let's say Perfect. beside the big names and that was it uh, without thinking uh, Anything what bigger would happen that, yeah course. what will happen were you aware of Eurovision beforehand I did. I, of course, I was. Uh, my family used to used to be always there watching it on the day they had their their own favorite artist of Eurovision. But uh, maybe personally, I wasn't really like touched with the music a lot, like knowing the songs or things like that. I knew the festival. I knew how good it was, mm -hmm. but I didn't really uh, watch it with knowing the songs of course, and, yeah of I, I heard a year before me uh, the winner was a top airner from Eurovision Song Contest uh, from Turkey and there was a big song uh, we all danced it at yes, the time did. and so uh, did Nigel yeah my, yeah, yeah, so my favorite really he wouldn't cool, stop dancing <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah so and then I remember big names like uh, in the past, Carola. And, of course, and yes. I remember my Carola family. Yes, yes, yes. Who could forget her? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and her wind machine, of course. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah great. So that, that that was almost. But then after that, I kind of become the expert in Eurovision Excellent. every day. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. You did really well for a first for a first time. You came. Was it fourth? Seven, it? Seven, seven, seven. 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 You came fourth in the semi finals. Yes. Yeah, and you came sure. seventh, which is really good. For a first time, but that is cracking stuff, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was very surprising for me, too. It was really good, and uh, I was really, really uh, glad for what we achieved in the first year. While, while you were there, did you get a, a sense of the, the love that Eurovision has around it? Not only with the artists, but there's all the fans as well, yes, and everybody yeah. just seems. Oh my gosh, Eurovision! Oh, it's so like Eurovision. Yeah. I'm at Eurovision. <laughs> you know, I tried to do it again uh, two other times. I, I, I read, I read this. And the, the biggest reason, of course, it is really important competition and all that. Mm -hmm. The biggest reason why I wanted to do it is to enjoy that experience. It's just lovely to be around uh, Eurovision uh, song contest uh, backstage and all that. Everyone is so lovely and. Everybody enjoys the experience. It's like a big party every day, yeah. uh, and and I wanted to re-enjoy that because maybe I was like uh, 16, 17 years years old. I remember my dad saying to me, "You have to sleep now." So it's late. So <laughs> and I was like, 
maybe it's time to enjoy a little bit course, more. And uh, although we did, yeah, it's a very, very nice atmosphere in general. Yeah, we were there for two weeks this year. Yeah. And every night you're partying. Yeah. Every night. But then your voice is gone in the night day. Of course, you have to be, in your situation, yeah, in my situation, a voice doesn't really matter so much. But yeah. okay. <laughs> I sing along too much. The number of times I've got to the end of Eurovision and you can't hear me. Yeah. <laughs> that's a fun. <laughs> it is fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I just absolutely love it. And what we feel every time that it brings so many countries together, mm -hmm. and there is such a great camaraderie about the whole thing about it. True. And what we've what we've discovered more and more over the last two or three years that when we get to meet the artists, it's not them and us. It's us. Yes. We're all in that big party together. Yeah, it's, it's like a big club. Yeah. I feel I feel that and you know where I feel that a lot as well is on my social media is every time I, I do a new song or something, uh, first people that support me are the Eurovision Song Contest uh, fans or bloggers and mm -hmm. I do really appreciate that. It, it's a wonderful to feel that support of of this big family uh, outside. You're, you're in the family, that's it, yes, that's it. Wonderful. You know, you, yeah. you can't escape. Absolutely, <laughs> I, yeah. We all know what this is about. Uh, so, yeah, I feel glad I'm in that time. You do know that, that uh, obviously there's, there's artists that which, which have been in the contest before who go back to uh, Eurovision if they don't necessarily represent their country, but they represent themselves, and they yeah. perform at the, the, the clubs there as well, like Euro Club, and we've seen quite, I think we saw, we, that's when we first met Anne-Marie David, we met her in Vienna. Yeah. And uh, she's been friends ever since, and, and the fact that you can go to those things, you can still be part of that atmosphere. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know that too much about it until I actually moved here in the UK. Right. And uh, I've been invited into uh, different, um, uh, events for Eurovision, such as uh, I did a, a, a small show with the BBC where there was a supporters for Eurovision, and then another uh, interview with with a Scottish um, with a Scottish radio, and it's like it's very wonderful. Oh, uh, I know who that was. That'd be Tommy Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, Tommy big family. <laughs> so, and then I and then I got this invitation, and then I heard how many events are going on about it and um, that is very wonderful to that that uh, people um, that uh, like Eurovision song uh, it's that dedication songs, it's like yeah, it's still there it tends to take over your I life I couldn't feel bit. this I had once in Germany a, a concert uh, we went for a concert again uh, quite similar but it was long time back and in Albania we do have parties but it's only during the time of Eurovision right so now and we all the, the participants now it's been 14 years so all the participants that have uh, been in eurovision we is like a we all know each other of course. a little bit better because yeah. we know the experience so yeah it's it's very, we, we very used nice. to do parties we did parties for about 15 years running which got more and more outrageous each year we started off quite quite tame and then it got to like um, big widescreen television garden with lasers and smoke machines and everything yeah. else and that's the garden and thought can't do anything more yeah. you have to go to eurovision yeah. we went and this is what we do now it's just, absolutely yeah. it's lovely uh, I, I do now follow the british version of party eurovision party day when we watch the eurovision yeah that's great that and you have lots of friends lovely. together yeah, bring it all and it's and you know it's it's just about that getting people together yes. and just like enjoy as indeed that's why i started in the first place in 56 to bring countries together different bring cultures together. together that's very very wonderful uh, and it is very meaningful as well very much so very meaningful to, to know different cultures to understand their music their their art and uh, their their expressions it's very important fantastic well thank you very very much for talking to me today it's been an Thanks absolute pleasure you. to speak to you My and to meet you and I, I love this i want one of these thank you. Yeah, I, was, I was thinking the same <laughs> I, I, love that I, want, I, want, I want one of those <laughs> I think you might drown in this and I might tear that one. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, I've got cool, a I've got a, I've, got a, I've got a different one for this evening. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah. I will change again later. Good deal. We'll, we'll do that one. I hope you like that. I'm sure we will. Too. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you much. Very, much. very, very sweet. Very, very sweet. Thank Lovely. Thank you.